Hi, welcome back. This is Super Slinky 7 with another World Edit tutorial video. So, in my last video, I taught you how to do more things with these selections, like moving, stacking, and copying and pasting. And the video ended with a lot of lava, and I fixed it. And my grass is still growing back. So, today, I will show you how to make brush tools, which is something that um, you may have seen me use in the last episode when I was trying to get rid of the lava. And brush tools are very useful because they let you basically do world edit a lot more quickly. So I can pick any tool, like say an iron pickaxe, and then I can set it as a brush tool. So I can say BR and then I want to make it a sphere. And I want to make it a sphere of wool that is blue. And then let's say I can I can do a um I can do a radius of one, two, three, four, or five. It can't be bigger than five by five in a brush tool. So let's make it three. So now I've equipped this brush tool with a three wide sphere of blue wool. So anywhere that I right click, as long as it's touching a block, a sphere of blue wool will appear. And you might not think that making a bunch of blue spheres would be useful, but I use the brush tool a lot. Especially when I was running a multiplayer server, um, there was a griefer that was setting things on fire. And I was able to use a brush tool to put out the fire very quickly without deleting anything else. And I will show you how to do that in this video. So, aside from just doing a sphere, you can also do a cylinder. So you can do BR cylinder wood blue 3. So that will make, uh, I didn't specify height, so it is flat. But if I specify a height, so I want to make it three high, then it's like a pie. But, for example, the fire problem. Basically, when, whenever anybody is experiencing a fire, they want a quick way to get rid of the fire without without deleting anything else, like they want to just delete the fire. And doing it by hand takes a long time, and sometimes it's a little too late by the time you're finished, and the building is unsalvageable. But with a brush tool, you can say... You can say, um, mask. When you say mask, basically that means that it only replaces the blocks that you define. So, let's make a little tower. And then say stack 10 up. So, here's our lovely house. But some annoying griefer has come and has decided to set it on fire. So what can you do in this situation, aside from pouring water everywhere, because we've all experienced that, and it makes a big mess? Well, I can find a tool, and then I can say BR Sphere 
air 5, because I want to make a big radius and I want to change it to air. But then, I can say mask fire. And that means that it will only replace fire with air, not anything else. So then, I just click a bunch of times going up. And it's a lot better than if I had tried to destroy it with the water. Now, I've, I've used this particular thing many times. And I can show you that it is, it works very well. So, in the last video, um, that whole lava incident kind of distracted me, and I didn't think to make, to show you that you can not, that you can basically, with your selections, you can make it into multiple different kinds of blocks with one command. So, whoops, so say I want to choose two random blocks that it will change it to. I can say set dirt comma glows, glowstone with no space in between and then it will set it randomly. And I can choose any number of things. So I can say set wool, wool, blue, wool, yellow, wool, black. And then it makes it random. And that can allow you to do some nice looking things. If you want to have, like, if you want to have it make it look like, say you wanted to make, like, a tiled floor, and you wanted it to be tiles, but you wanted them to be kind of, like, uneven and different all the way around, so you can do that. There's a typo. So yeah, sometimes the names are hard to guess, but um, you can always use the data value. And if you have too many items, you can just look to the side and it will tell you the data value next to the name. And But if you don't have that, um, you can find on Minecraft Wiki a list of the data values, and I'll post a link to that in the description so you can look at that. So, basically that's all I have to share for this lesson. Um, I'd tell you what next time would be, but I haven't decided yet, because I'm trying to go in order of, like, less, less complicated to a little more advanced. So, I guess I'll just have to wait and find out. So, until next time, bye, and remember to comment, rate, and subscribe so I can continue doing this.